one Lima 57, the 1013 departure from Glasgow Central to Carlisle, departing here at Dumfries at 11.59. Next stop is Annan, followed by Gretna Green and Carlisle. train to come in now from Carlisle. This is the 1309 arrival from Carlisle. Just coming out to platform one. 156512. The service is about every hour between Carlisle and Dumfries. There is a less frequent service further north though between this station and Kilmarnock and stations further on to Glasgow, Glasgow Central. And just in the background is the Majestic Station Hotel, built in 1896. Really lovely, that 32 ensuite rooms there. It's a really lovely place to stop. And it's a lovely station, just um, looking at some of the gardens here um, it actually reached the finals of the station best garden awards a few years ago and over here on platform two where I'm standing now is this lovely little miniature train um, with beautiful spring flowers crocuses uh, daffodil bulbs in there all coming out it's really lovely Station is listed by Historic Scotland, it's Grade 2 listed. And of course, um, several years ago, there were other lines from this station to places such as Castle Douglas and Stranraer, and also a direct link to Lockerbie. But those lines were closed under Dr. Richard Beeching's cuts in the mid 1960s. So the trip to Stranraer now is rather long-winded. It's up through to Kilmarnock. You have to change onto the line that connects to air. So it's a really long detour. So hopefully they might uh, rebuild those lines sometime in the future. The train over on platform one just pulling out now and he's actually going to be going to the yard at Dumfries. They have a, a maintenance yard just outside the station and that train is heading off to be serviced before coming back into service again later in the afternoon.
just moved a little bit further up the platform and um, it's a lovely station. It's, it's got many of the original features when the station was built back in 1848. It's very easy to see why it's a listed building. Uh, lovely architecture. This is platform two. It's really superb this. And the station itself did have four platforms. And across in the distance there, just beyond platform one, if I just zoom in, you can see some cars parked there. Those used to be the location of platforms three and four. And um, it was a very busy, bustling station. There was a Carnation pasteurized milk factory opened in 1935 on the site just beyond the station and they used to load the product from the carnation milk onto what was called then milk trains and milk trains were very popular on the network rail system back in the 1930s and right through really until about the early 1970s you saw a lot of the milk cartons being carried along uh, on the railways a lot of that now has gone on to road transport and the Carnation factory itself did close in the year 2000, which is a great shame. And those stations, uh, platforms across there were no longer needed. There were the plaques that the station was awarded in 1986 and again in 1987, the best station award. Next to it is a really interesting display called Railway Reflections and it's got many of the stories associated with Dumfries Station over the years and a lovely model railway exhibition inside as well, all on platform one. This is the view heading north from Dumfries Station. The train's heading to Glasgow Central. The next station up the line from here is Sanker, and it's a station that I watch online using Railcam as you're able to see trains travelling through that station every day online. I've really enjoyed my visit to Dumfries Station today. This is my first visit here. Beautiful station, very well maintained, lovely grounds, beautiful plants, and gardens and lovely tubs. I have to say, they really have taken the effort to look after this station. It is beautiful, beautiful, really lovely. Train services themselves are not that frequent. They're, on average, they run every hour between Carlisle and Dumfries. They're not so frequent between Dumfries and Glasgow. And on Sundays, there are five trains between Carlisle and Dumfries, only two heading up to Glasgow. So not a very frequent service at times. But nevertheless, I'm really glad I came here. see why the station is grade 2 listed and I can also see why it's been entered for awards for the quality of the gardens. That's my visit to Dumfries Station. Thank you for watching.
watching the videos today and I hope you enjoy.